Well, he's it's crazy. blown away by this. this uh, yeah. It is nice. Everybody is. Yeah. 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 I thought they would never get the floor in. <laughs> well, because they couldn't put the floor in until they finished something. And so for the longest time, they had that big, what I call a cherry picker, you know, over there. Oh, yeah. And when they finally, you know, did <laughs> Yeah, sure. <laughs> now, who are you? Are you? You're not Lamar, are you? No, I am Alain. Sometimes it'll be a round hole, sometimes it'll be a square hole. But it's always that little round-sided, short-body, donelica. And those are columnar-shaped beads. It, they, it looks like they took a tube of glass and just, you know, did uh, cut through them. And they're very regular. They're great beads, but they tend to give an angularity to your, your uh, flowers. So I use them. But I only use them occasionally, like uh, maybe if I'm doing rosemary and I want to make little tiny rosemary uh, buds in there, I'll use it for that because it doesn't, it's not the main part of the flower. Um, <coughs> there are two countries that primarily make the seed. When we choose aliveness over woundedness, love over fear, and live from our vital heart. We stay close to what is sacred and authentic. 
Jack Cornfield, the Buddhist teacher, writes, great spiritual traditions are used as a means to ripen us, to bring us face to face with our life and help us see in a new way by developing a stillness of mind and a strength of heart. The fruit must be eaten eventually. The olives cured, the grapes crushed. The date separated from the stem and the pomegranate split open. In living, we face these passages of birth and death in all the forms that challenge us. We must stand by the truth of our own lives and live creatively and passionately. Our task is soul making.